day like a loaded savior Niggas best to be on they best behavior Oh, I just took, I just took allergy medication I'm good, I'm good Get that motherfucker snot tissue in my pocket Move around, move around Niggas, let's take a, uh, let's take a little toast Come on, toast with me Toast with, don't worry about it Don't worry about the camera, this our shit We do whatever we want, cheers Health and wealth, health and wealth to everybody watching just Sip a little bit, mm. He's supposed to fuck around. She got the whole bottle with her. She said, shit, come very early me. Back from the day like a Lord and Savior. Best to be on it, best behavior. I'm unruly and fully. All right, y'all. We good, cameras rolling? <laughs> I'd like to welcome everybody to the Fact Though Show. I'm your host, Troy Av, the notorious AVE. All my real ones, welcome. Appreciate y'all coming in, supporting. You know what it is. It's all love. We spread love and destroy hate. To all the Pontius pilots, eat a D. You feel me? That's how we on it. Period. This fact though show is opinions based on facts. We don't do none of that bias stuff. We don't do none of that on um, pushing agendas and you know what I'm saying all that you know, a lot of a lot of these guys would be like, Why should you take their opinion? Who are they? They were nerds. <laughs> you feel me? Like, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd as long as you stay in a nerd place. Don't be a nerd trying to tell me about how to be cool. You feel me? Don't be don't be a, a certified bum trying to tell me uh how to be fly. You feel me? That like you you wearing the um you wearing a blanket in the street. What are you talking about? Tell me how to dress, fam. You feel me? Like don't be don't be a soft guy telling me how to be a tough guy. Like, you used to get wedgies. Tell me about politics and what people should do when they disrespect and what would you do? So these are opinions based on facts. This is the fact of show. I'm telling y'all, y'all are the real ones on the check in, and um, let's go from there. Let's go from there. That was an intro. I always be forgetting like what I say when I'm talking on my intros. So and know uh, we just we just go off the vibe. We go off the vibe. Make sure y'all go get this. This you see this dope ass. Let me see if I can stand up. I don't know if y'all can see it, but can you see it? We getting this in the camera. Get loaded. I ain't trying to stand up. It's too much. But get a load of this dope GIGPS shirt. We got new merch. This is the Army Green Edition. It's so fire. Let's get a round of applause for that. I see I did it. I'm on point with the buttons, baby. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Go get the new album. Can't nobody tell me nothing. It's called the 2022 season. Shout out to my dog, Peasy. Detroit, what's up? All right. Today's topic. It's a very serious topic. I was near and dead to my heart. Because I've been through this. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have been through it. Real ones, usually. The bums, they never go through this because they usually on the back end of it. But here we go. Today's topic is, can you build with wasteful people? And when I say wasteful, hold on. Hold up, Ice Cream Chuck. Hold on. Hold up, damn it. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, you live on the fact, though, Chuck. Don't wait. Listen. You gonna call in and we gonna do the actual air questions, but I'm live right now, so I hit you back when it's happening, alright? Alright. That she ain't Nick, what? This nigga look niggas the motherfucking Land Rover people gonna hit me. So I said, yo, we get they said we got you on the bill list for the car now, right? Let me give y'all a little quick thing. I'm the type of person I go buy cars, I see what I want. Okay, let me go get that. I go and pick that bitch up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've always been like that. Even my first car, I'm driving on Atlantic Avenue and pass by Washington in Brooklyn. It's a lot. Oh, that Tahoe's fire. They got the Tahoe of like 14700 I had a little punk ass job. I'm 17. I'm going to stack my bread. I'm going to hit my mom's, put in her name. I'm getting that car. I t stopped in, looked at it. Yo, I'll be back. Got a mechanic. He came, looked at it. Boom. Yo, I'll be back with a depot. Boom. Got the car. Then, so on and so on, when I start getting farms, you know, I see what I want, I go get it. One time I was driving on tour and I bought a farm. I was driving by, well, that, that's fire. Hold up, what's this? I'm in Chicago or Illinois somewhere. I see the joint. I'm like, well, what's that? Hold, hold on, pull over. What's, oh, yo, let's walk in there. Hey, how much is this? Okay, you know, you got to bring them down a little bit. Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm paying cash. Okay, here you go. Here, ship that to me and I'm out of there. Cool, long story long. I go to uh, Land Rover, I try to go pick me up something, you know, I need something nice to bring the boys to football and all that, you know what I'm saying, I let me go get a car real quick, so you know they say, oh, well, you're gonna be on a, um, we can definitely get that for you, Mr. Collins, no problem, it's just gonna be a little bit of a wait, I said a little bit of a wait, like when? Uh, yeah, probably about, uh, maybe, uh, 
60 to 90 days I'm like 60 to 90 I'm like waiting for no book It's not I don't like that I have no patience And a lot of times Patience is a virtue So they say I don't believe in that shit It, it applies to certain things I feel like me not having no patience Got me to a level of success Because I push the envelope And I go get what I want And I don't wait for it And wait for nobody Cool it's just an extra car. I wanted a big chuck, like, moving around. I say, you know what? All right, cool. I'll wait. I go back. This is October. Cool. I go back. I go back in, uh, like, a couple weeks later, whatever. Boom. They give me a loaner car. Hey, yeah, we got some bad news, but you can take this car. Um, Your car won't be ready until, um. oh, we didn't get word back from the people yet. They're going to build your car. But guess what? You're getting a 2023 car. Like they try to wow me with the 2023. It's 2022, and he's telling me I'm getting a 2023 call. It wasn't no, it wasn't even. It was it was effing. It was 2021. He said, "Yo, you getting a 2023?" I said, "All right, all right, cool. You know how we're here. Yeah, you can you can take this loaner. I gotta put this phone on silent or something. Pardon me, y'all. Pardon me, y'all. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, whatever. I take the little car. I had to cover about a, a couple couple weeks, whatever." I call back. I go to, to see the um the dealer. Hey, what's up? Um, did you get me on the order thing? Um, yeah, he's not here today. We mean he's not here. Oh, he went on vacation. So now it goes from me grabbing this V in October to then November to December. The guy comes back vacation. I'm going holiday. I get back in January. What's up with that car? Cause my car's supposed to be here in ninety days max. I'm like, yo, I'm still on schedule to grab my V in February, right? Oh, well, we didn't uh. We didn't know We didn't speak to you You didn't speak to me Because you was on vacation Idiot That's why you didn't speak to me Cool Most, if I feel I swear People don't want to work man Ever since Joe Biden got in office And these PPE loans Yo cheers to people That really work Cheers We sell it Hold on Oh I don't like no lazy bums We don't do lazy bums here on the Facto Show You got to work Anything extra is a hustle That's on the side But you actually gotta still be working You gotta have some solid foundation You feel me? Alright So You're like Oh I can put the car in right now for you if you want Say how long is the car gonna take? Um, I'll find out by tomorrow Alright if you don't find out by tomorrow Get my deposit back I don't want it <coughs> Tomorrow comes They didn't call me I started traveling I'm going boom Whatever, whatever. I called back a couple of days ago. Hey, yo, send me um, send me that deposit. <clears throat> oh, I didn't, I didn't hear back from you. That whoa, that got nothing to do with my deposit. Send it back, or as anybody knows, I, I'm a I'm a uh, American Express member, platinum. You heard? I could have the black card, but the platinum does the same things as it. So nobody wastes your money spending five thousand a year when you could spend five hundred a year to have it. Don't waste your money, black card. Cool. I say, yeah, just send me that money. I don't care about the story, whatever, whatever. Um, and then, I, you know, if they try to play with the money, I would just call Amex. Yeah, this is a unauthorized charge. These people owe me money. Uh, I need that bread back. And I'll get it right back. Cool. The fuck? Oh, man, this sucker try to play with me with some bread, too. Nowadays, like back in the days, this is how I tell you, like the streets is a myth. And you got to be educated and know these things because it can help you in life. Before I would have things like when you're doing business, a lot of business, and you hand out money, whatever. So the time people try to play you, everybody ain't gonna be honest. This is a fact. Now, you know, the, I ain't even gonna say in my earlier years, in my recent past, like if somebody played with me with my bread, I'm going upside their head. You feel me? I'm gonna see, oh, where? All right. I'm gonna put together a diabolical plan to see about you, and it's gonna be violent. I would take, I literally, I take money back in blood. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you. Whatever. Um, but you know, as you grow, you mature, you start having things to lose because most times somebody, it ain't about if they gonna come back and be street about it because you know we not glorifying no street shit. It's just how I was raised. Yo, somebody play you go when you see them, whatever. I wasn't raising all this sucker shit, but it's about more so. As you start having things acquired, you might somebody might not try to come see you back physically. They might try to sue you, and you actually got shit to lose. They ain't gonna take your EBT card. They gonna take your house. They gonna take your your business. They gonna take whatever assets you got, a lien on your account, whatever. So I say, all right, cool. This is how I'm gonna play from now on. Anybody who I gotta pay money to, I'm paying them through PayPal or on Ameri and I'm paying through my American Express on PayPal. So now 
it's nothing personal. This is how a lot you see the the men who built America. It'd be old rich white men, the Rockefellers and the the Rothstein's all that. This is how they do business. And I, I'm changing my last name. This is a fact. My kids, everything. We start our own lineage. But this is how you do business. Sometimes people play. Everybody's not an honest businessman. You know what? I'm not gonna have no bloody war and go find this person and jeopardize more money and and risk my freedom because then that cost me more money than I probably even did business with you for. You want to go run off with twenty thousand, hundred thousand, ten thousand, whatever? Cool, no problem. I'm just gonna gladly call American Express. Hey, this is the unauthorized charge. Uh, I don't want this. Please get my money back. This person is fraudulent. Money back to me. So I advise everybody to pay anything with uh your American Express and PayPal. And PayPal, if you don't have American Express. And another thing is, when people call you to borrow money, most times people ain't lending no money back. But cool. I learned this from Judge Mathis, another guy from the streets that started doing positive, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, now a lot of people in the streets, they ride his D. You feel me? So this is what you were supposed to do. Round of applause for getting your life together and me dropping juice. Yeah, round of applause. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. You're far too kind. Now nah, I'm talking shit. All right. So whenever you want to loan somebody money, like it's it's funny how people come to you for some help. Hey, can you help me with this? Help me with that? And you better pray to God. Don't pray to me. How am I a part of your plan for getting money? There's a bunch of financial institutions. There's, you got credit cards. You have uh uh, you got um um what's it one eight seven seven cards for kids. Um, you got uh quick and loan, the panhandling. You got all kind of stuff you could do before it gets to me. You feel me? So, when somebody, if you do decide to borrow somebody, loan somebody some money, you pay them in it. Uh, oh, man. Hold on. You pay them in a check. Coda. What's up? Top of the top, crow. The nigga waking up. You in Cali town, but it's still late. Yo, listen. I'm re I'm recording the facto show. I'm going to hit you. I might slide that way, but I'm only going to slide out there if, you know what I mean? We moving how we move. You feel me? Don't say too much, though, because I'm on, I'm on the joint. You heard? All right, crow, bet that. All right, so anyway, shout out to, shout out to everybody on West Side. You know, on West Side T. If somebody call you to borrow some money, I don't care who it is, you give them that money in a check, and you write on that check, this is for a loan. You hear me? You also take their social security. You do a real business transaction. You meet what's your social security? Okay, cool. First, last name, because let me write you this check. This is for a loan. Now what I learned from Judge Mathis, you don't have to beef and fight with that person if they don't want to give you the money back. Y'all know the real ones watching this is my real ones. We go through this. We're the, we're the lenders. We, we ain't the borrowers. So if we do borrow, we're paying people back. That's very important. Don't nobody want to be out here with people saying, they owe me this. He, he owes me this. She owes me that. No. No, we don't. We ain't, that's, that's bum shit. So when you give that person a check and you write for a loan on a check, you keep a copy of that check, you can automatically get that money back or you can go after that money with a lien. You can place a lien on that person. So I don't care if they hit a lottery ticket, if they get a little punk ass fake car uh, accident lawsuit, if they get an EDD loan, did I say it right, PPE, whatever the loans, whatever they, if they get a paycheck from McDonald's, whatever they do in the future that has them getting money, uh, if they go and claim their kids on somebody, let somebody else file their kids and they get income tax, whatever they get, you gonna get paid first. So it's like, all right, I'm gonna get my money eventually. You sucker, it's all good, and it just cost me. Not only did it cost that much money to get you out of my life, you never asked me nothing again, but I'm gonna still get paid back. And this is in the world of Choi Ave and not taking L's. We gotta minimize the L's. You heard? Fact though. Okay, back to the topic. Matter of fact, needs how much time was that? Matter of fact, no, no, no. I, I want to shoot to a commercial. Man, I don't want to shoot to a commercial. I want to finish talking real quick. The topic for today is, can you build wealth? Uh, can you build with wasteful people? And when I say can you build, I mean, can you say it could be uh, uh, your significant other. You in the earning, you in the stacking your bread. Come on, baby, let's get a house. I'm tired of renting. This is a waste of our money. Hey, I'm gonna save my paychecks. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put up twenty thousand dollars. You save ten thousand dollars. We'll go put a down payment. You building, you building, you saving, you sacrificing, and she's shopping in Sephora. She's burning down Dior, <laughs> Dior, Dior. I'm up in all the stores. Like, bitch, what are you talking about? We here paying high rent. <laughs> are you dumb? We trying to. I'm trying to be an owner. You trying to own bags. 
to own real estate. So can you build with that person? If you got a homeboy and y'all both on the block, and you know, this is why I always did stuff myself because I've seen how people come with excuses instead of coming with what they owe. You'd be like, hey, yo, boy, let's go. I'm going to go do my thing here. You do your thing over there. Let's build up and put our money together because we could get the work for less if we put all our money together. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's a dope plan. Yes, you the deaf. Now, all right, cool. I didn't know it from... Uh, what I didn't bought three hundred. You buying three hundred grams, and now you got your money for half half a bird. Now this person's buying three hundred. They supposed to come with their money for half a bird, or for flipping and breaking down and all that. Now you come back to the table. Ah, right, yeah, we going. We gonna get our our journal on on the thirtieth for the thirty first, and get ready for the first. Come on, we going to the plug. You go to the plug. They show up. Yeah, man. They got it's more excuses than money. What, what's the rest of the money, dog? Nah, yo, you know. Yeah, some shit came up. I had to, you know, I was running here and then I had went out and I was fucking around. What do that have to do with this business? Dummy, you're a wasteful person. What does that have to do with anything? Why would I want to go stand up and show off trying to impress broke niggas? I'm trying to, I'm trying to impress myself when I wake up, how I live, when I, when I step out, how I look, when I, when I get in the, when I get in the V, how I drive. And that comes from saving and sacrificing. So now, when you go to buy the bird, now you can't get a bird. So here's what happens with the wasteful person. They didn't came with less money. And now, instead of you being able to get a whole a whole one for uh, 28, you know what I'm saying? Now, you got to pay 30 because you only got uh, 800. You only buy 800 yams. You got to think about it. This is real shit. So my question is, can you build with wasteful people? We're going to shoot to a commercial. Um, We're going to get right back. We're going um, we gonna to talk to the people. We're going to ask a question, y'all. I'm Choi Ave. This is the Facto Show. Powder. The white Christmas Harry Potter is here. You know your boy going to always deliver. We didn't change up the name. This one is called the 2022 season. White Christmas edition. And next year going to be 2023. And God willing, so on and so on. Life is a sport, and if you're listening to the sound of my voice, you gon' ball. New year, new money, new music, new blessings. Grab that white Christmas 9, the 2022 edition at choyab.com. I love y'all. Topic, um, what? Bill. Gotta, we, we gotta just roll live I know we, we look off with the time or whatever I pin the comment We gotta roll live because If we don't do it that way, we good We good to go, we back, we back It's the fact though show We ride on live, good looking We talking to the people Coogee Sweater, good luck Coogee Sweater, Eric, he said that album's fire Appreciate you Appreciate you, my boy What's up, Brick Flair? What's up, Unk Long Live Man? How much for a Troy Ave feature? Hit me on the DMs what he say? Get rid of the negativity. You already know. That's a fact, though. South Central LA in the building. Where y'all calling from? Where you checking in from? We going live, y'all. Um, Everybody right here on the live. Here go the topic. You're going to be on the fact, though, show. I'm going to tap you in. The topic is, can you build with wasteful people? And so what we were talking about in the last segment was... Can you build with somebody if you were, if you a man or a woman and you trying to build a future with your significant other and you like hey yo I want to go get a a new house um let's save our money okay cool I'm gonna put up twenty thousand dollars you put up ten thousand dollars it's gonna take us a year to save and sacrifice and then we're gonna put a down payment on the house instead of wasting all our money on rent. And then now all of a sudden you come to the table, but she was in Dior, Dior, all the stores, fucking up the bag, or she was out fine dining, you know what I'm saying, with her friends and and, and tricking off. Or, or, you know, the dude, appreciate the badge. Or, you know, the, the dude, he was out tricking off on strippers, you know what I'm saying? Or, or dude, what's some other shit niggas just waste money on? It's foolishness. Huh? Clothes. clothes. A lot of clothes. Where you going? Where you going? That's my man. So it's like quicksand. So now when it's time to come together, hey, let's go. Let's, let's get this house. Because instead of us paying a $2,000 for rent a month, if we go get a two-family house and we get a mortgage, our mortgage might be $2,200, but we're going to have a tenant that's paying $1,200. So now we we paying it that. We're saving money. You literally are saving money by, by saving money. You feel me? 
The same goes for if you got a homeboy in the street or even a homegirl in the street. You got a homeboy in the street. Y'all both getting work. You say, yo, you buying 300 grams and, you know, they charging us for the high. We could get more if we if we go the whole way. You buy 300 grams. I'm buying 300 grams. Let's try to put our bread together next re-up and get a whole brick. Cool. Come next re-up. You come with your money and as usual, niggas always come with excuses. You put it together, all right, I got my 500, you got your 500, nah, I only got, y'all got 300, but you know some shit had happened and I'm gonna get it back, but you know I was running around here and then, nigga, I saw you on Instagram standing in the club popping Ace of Spades, what are you talking about? Are you dumb? I saw you going to Miami renting cars, what are you, what are you talking about? Are you dumb? These are the real things that happen. <laughs> so now... Now, after you do all that, it's time to go get the work. So, now you would have got the work for... Now, you, you paying your plug 32. They say, yo, because you getting 300, he getting 300. Yo, you pay me 32. They say, yo, if you get the whole thing, don't worry. I'll give it to you for 28. Now, because it is clown cake, now you got to pay an extra $4,000. Uh, uh, my bad, four points a gram. So, if you getting 300, 500, 500, you paying four points a gram. You paying extra $2,000. That ain't no short money. You feel me? <laughs> so, my question is, can you build with wasteful people? Ladies, if y'all going on a trip with your homegirl, everybody planning to go on a trip. Yeah, let's go. Let's go on this trip together. Cool. Now, we getting a bulk rate. We getting the hotels. Yo, come on, girls. We ain't waiting for no niggas. We going to get our own yacht. Yachts don't cost that much money. If it's if it's five, six girls, yo, put $300 a piece. Get your own yacht. You don't have to be on a, on a, on a boat with... With bum niggas that you don't like Trying to touch you Fill up on you you, you trying to avoid them When you doing the camera work You know what I'm saying Like is it worth that Because to me My time It's certain things That ain't worth it for me You know what I'm saying It's like when people be Going through a bunch of beefing With somebody And they still live in the house With the move oh, Nah I ain't trying to pay That extra money Okay well then You know You just gotta put up with that You feel me So now y'all get on vacation And now your homegirl She ain't got no money To pay her portion of the bill Oh wait How much they charge To get up in there Bitch we on vacation It doesn't matter We out here Doesn't matter You feel me I didn't see I didn't see I didn't see women Turn into Motherfucking mathematicians When that bill come Hold on All I had Was the quesadillas Hold on Do you know hoes Always eat quesadillas That's whole food Don't ever order, order No damn quesadilla a quesadilla, what's some other whole food? Quesadillas are always whole food. It's legendary whole food. Because when you late night in a hotel, then the late menu, they mostly got quesadillas, man. It's a fact, though. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, we're going to tap in with y'all. Y'all tell me if you could, if you could build with uh what they call them, with wasteful people. Can you build with them? Can you? Can you overcome it? Oh, I don't think so. I feel like no matter how much money you get, you can't overcome it. Because they always going to be like my man said, quicksand. What's up, Red Face SQ? Who here on the check-in? Who here on the check-in? And you said Chipotle. I don't really eat Chipotle, man. I like real. I like real food. I like real Mexican food. You feel me? What's up, Smooth Smooths 26? You gonna come and tell us? Can you build wasteful people? Hit me right here on the request if you got a uh what's up, G? Oh man, hold on. We hold on, we gonna put you on a joint. We gonna put you on a um we going to put you on a joint so we can hear you. Hold on. This phone is bugging. Hello? Yo. Yo. Yeah, this phone bugging. Hold on. Let's 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 throw you on a joint real quick. Hold on, niece. We got to get him on a on a Bluetooth. It is. It is. Where's that, niece? Rodecaster Pro. Boom. Boom, all right, there we go. There we go. We back. You hear me? Yo. We back, you good? We back, we good. We good money, all right. We was trash just now. We ain't had no, we did the bootleg shit, man. I spent all this money on this machine. We got to have a high power production. We can't no bullshit. But yeah, what's up, my man. boy? Tell the people your name and where you calling from and all that good stuff. You live on the Facto Show. Man, you know. Man, we right here on the Facto Show. It's your boy, Ricky Dub. On the down from Bay Area, we out here in California, you feel me? And um, definitely, like you're saying, you cannot build with wasteful people. Um, me and my brother, mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. if you've met him yet, Paperboy, we've been building this brand, Dream Team, out here in San Francisco in our neighborhood. 
for 10 years plus now. And in the first two years, a lot of people were telling us it wasn't going to work. A lot of people around us was wasteful and they had the right mindset. And when there's people like that around you, it's shit. It's going to take long. Your process is going to get dragged down. Like you said, it's quicksand, man. Quick so it's same. like the more people you put around you that's positive with your vision, it's going gonna, it's gonna to thrive. It's going to manifest almost in real time. So crazy that people don't even believe the shit. That's a fact, though. I'm going to take my and shit off. That just all comes, comes with that hard work and dedication. Hard work, dedication, faith in God, baby. Definitely the people around you. That's a fact. Oh man, always you gotta have that. God grades and your paper gotta be straight. That's a fact though. I appreciate you calling in, my boy. I see you always supporting and all that good stuff you heard. Shout out your brand real you quick while you know, shout out your brand. Shout out your brand while you on the fact though show. So we can have the viewers oh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, go ahead, tap in with Dream Team SF if y'all in California, the Bay Area, California, man. Tap in with Dream Team SF. Bombs away SF. I'm gonna tag it right here. I'm gonna post a little comment like y'all. Yeah, y'all can find this right there. Mm-hmm. So I love you, so. bro. Keep doing your thing, man. Hug your kids, man. Always. Stay up. All right, bro. Love. 100. That's California love out there, man. Word up. I appreciate that. Um, the topic is can you build with wasteful people? Y'all send me some badges, too. I need to buy some lunch today. You feel me? Rich niggas need, uh, like, lunch is bought for them, too. You feel me? Um, Drop the joint. Let's see who else we got on the check in. Can you build with wasteful people? Tell me your experience. Tell me your stories. Or are you a fuck? Are you the wasteful person? Uh, you might. You might be the wasteful person, man. It might be you. You can't build. See these headphones? You messing up my my cut, man. The mic is not muted. There's no way. You can hear me, bro. You can hear me. All right. They talk. They talking about the mic is muted. Niggas always talking shit. Always. It's always gotta be somebody talks some bullshit. What's up, G? What's the word? I can't hear you now. Yeah, I'm gonna say one thing first. You know? uh, yeah, I'm gonna say one thing f- before we get started. First, so, I need first I need you to say your name and where you calling so, from. Yeah, my name is Kwesi, and I'm in Boston. Boston. Kwesi, Kwesi, what's up from Bean Town? Thank you for yeah. the badge, homegirl. Thank you for the badge. She sent me a badge. Send me some money. The real lady Don. What's up, Kwesi? What's the your real motivation, bro, like, yo, the shit you've done, bro, like, a lot of niggas can never do, bro. Like, y'all look up to you, bro, like, the shit you've done, bro, and the shit you teach niggas mm-hmm. on a whole different type of, like, level. Not, some other niggas will never get it, but you're independent and you do your thing, bro, and you've been doing your thing. 100. And you've never lied, bro. 100. Cheers to that. Lied. 100. You always see the truth, bro. I respect you for that, man. Yeah. I appreciate, I appreciate that, my nigga, for real. Like, I, I, that's, salute. I ain't going to, that you is salute, man. Appreciate that. I don't, I don't be like, that's what I do it for, but I feel like, no cap, for me being here, I got, you got to have a purposeful life. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like right. the stuff that I've been through and survived and I'm here, I'm trying to spread love. I'm trying to build the people up that want to be built up. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. ha- it's like having a yo here. Listen, y'all niggas want to eat. Come here, we got food. You gotta get here though. I ain't right. gonna send a, a call for you. Send a, for the people who want to get it, they get it. Cause I show everybody yo, this is what we doing. This is how we living. Right. We being positive and we getting money. You, and we staying sucker free. Now, right. if you want to get it, you could get it. It's here. It's not no secret. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like yo, I just we. It's, like I seen I seen the whole world tear you down, bro. Yeah, I remember that incident, bro. I, the whole world, bro. Like the. Whole, I was like, how is this nigga going to make it through? Like, this is like four years after. Oh. And you still here. You still doing interviews. You still doing... Yo, the whole world was against you. It's a fact. Everybody was laughing. I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? But five years after... I like that. Stop, my nigga. My loot, bro. My nigga, I, listen. I like that. This is what anybody going through something got to remember. They hated on yeah. Jesus. They was all yeah. against Jesus. Like, you know what I'm saying? They hated. Right. They they hated on all the greats. This is what happens. They exactly. hated on Tupac. They they hated. That's what they supposed to do. They supposed to try to tear you down. They supposed to laugh. It's like water and oil. Real and fake don't mix. They supposed right. to go against you. And in any battle, right. nigga, you, you see. Did the, it. You, you did it big. Bro. Come on, my you boy. Did it big. You, like 
before niggas even stop you, you're out there doing your thing. You know, like you did it big, bro. But I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm like the 2016 Warriors. I, I could be down, exactly. but best believe in that fourth quarter crunch time, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna win the game. Yeah, you, y'all get laughing me, kick me down to all the, it down by 20, he's gonna lose. Yeah, right. It's one thing I ain't about to do. Is I'm not about to lose. I'm not about to not take care of my kids, and I'm not about to be broke. You heard? That's a fact, though. But yeah, so let let the people know. Good looking, crazy. Let let them know. Can the topic is? Can you build with wasteful people? Have you ever had a situation no, no. trying to build with wasteful no, no. people? You can never build with wasteful people, bro. Cause it's like if niggas are not on your goals and what you got going. If niggas are not aligned with the same goals you got going on. It's a distraction at that point. Mm. They're distracting you. You know what I mean? Like, if niggas is not on the same goals you got, because everybody got different goals. You know what I mean? And if niggas is not on the same goals you got, it's a distraction at, at that point. You know what I mean? So, it's a, like, it's a waste of time. And you can't get your time back. You know what I mean? You can't so get time like, back. So, let me ask you this. Like, I've, you can't get your time back. So, it's like, what the fuck you doing wasting time? You know what I mean? mean? When you got goals. I got my own goals. So, it's like... Every single time I got, I'm trying to figure <coughs> out how my goals, my five big goals can be done within two years. Mm. How much time can I make? Like, how can I bring it down? You know what I mean? How can my goals come from five years to like two and a half or maybe three years? So look, have you ever, so have you ever been in a situation? Have you ever been in, you hear me? Have you ever been in a situation? You ever been in a, tell, tell us about a situation that you've been in where you was trying to build, but people was wasteful. Y'all keep sending me them badges. I appreciate those. Like, tell us about a situation that you've been in when you was trying to build something, but it, it couldn't quite get to where you wanted it to get to because you had wasteful people around you. Damn, crazy shit is uh, posed up. We can't. Oh, that's that's crazy. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, shout out to crazy on the check-in. His joint was, his joint was, uh, Freezing up real quick. Come on, we gonna take some other colors. Okay, I see them badges. I see them badges. I'm not going to Popeyes today. We might go somewhere. We might go somewhere a little bit more fancy. Even though I do love the, I do love the what's the name the um, what's that sweet sauce that be on that chicken? Hot something. What's that shit called? Um, sweet. Oh, sweet, sweet heat. Sweet heat. <laughs> Whoa, that sweet heat sauce. Yo, Yo, my boy, what's, up, what, man? what's good? Right. Ain't nothing, you know, we here. God is great. The paper straight, we on a facto show. Tell the people who yes, you man. are, where you calling from. My, my name BZ, I'm from the Bay. I'm from, I'm from Oakland, California, man, you know. You already I'm know. They, they get yes. Oakland with revenge is a promise. Shout out to everybody in Oakland. Or it up, the yay area and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, BZ, today's topic, can you build with wasteful people? So personally, no, nah, I don't think you can build with wasteful people because you got a first situ- of all, you got a situation that you've been through trying to build with somebody first, wasteful. Matter of fact, my last situation with the last girl I was dealing with. Tell us about people. tell us about it, BZ. Let wasteful. the people know it might be somebody going through the same thing you're going through, and and your words might spark them and let them know, man, that ain't the way. Oh, mama. So let me it, it, like it's, it's like this. So it was a cool situation, or whatever. But it's like it's like. They, they, they depend on a man to hold all the weight on his shoulders. You feel me? Like, that's cool, whatever. I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do regardless. Mm-hmm. But Scrap dollars, but good looking. It's hard to hold everything on my shoulders when you want to go waste money, you want to go waste time, you want to go, you want to have fun and still. You feel me? We young, I'm trying to build. And you still want to have fun, so you by that, you waste some time. You want to go eat the best steak, you waste money. You, you feel, feel me? me? Like, when you could cook. Yeah, but people don't realize, practice. bro, you could buy the, you could buy the, uh, uh, a tomahawk or the center cut, whatever the steak you want to buy, you could go ahead and just buy it in the store. So a steak ain't if you don't know how to cook steak, go to YouTube. You put right. get a hot ass pan, get you some butter, get you some hey. garlic, salt and pepper. You're done. You feel oh, my me? Mama, that's how I learned. That's how I learned on oh, my mama YouTube. Straight up. That was perfect. Yeah, that 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 was one right there. They don't understand. Like this this is my example of being wasteful. If you go into to a restaurant, a, a fine restaurant or whatever, and you know, I always look at the girls who say, "Yeah, let's get a bunch of shots." Are you dumb? It makes no sense. 
You, I'm not. If I go to restaurant, find restaurants, I'm paying for the experience and the real mixologist. Make me a cocktail, infuse some fruits in my shit, and blend something. You feel me? Like you ain't just about to pull me. He's about to take a bottle, pour it in the cup, and then in that little punk ass cup, I'm, I'm paying ten times. Hold, well, hold up, ice cream Chuck. All right, so you're telling me right now. If I say, give me a shot of tequila, I don't know, Patron, Casamigos, it costs $50. You're telling me I'm paying $15 for a shot? Oh, nah. Then, That's a whole bottle. Three you, three shots, I'm getting, well, I, this shit is nuts. But That's yeah, go, thing, go ahead, my boy. Yeah, you talking about somebody wasteful. Go ahead. What she was doing, man? Oh, mama, and, and, it's, and it's crazy because it's like that's the new generation. Everybody wait for nowadays. Everybody want to go spend money instead of to get money. You feel me? That's the new thing, right. show, showing off how much crazy. how much money you could waste instead of showing off how much money yeah. you done saved. You know what I'm saying? That's, bro, that's, you said it's the best, bro. That's all it is. They want to see how much money you going to waste on it. That's a fact. Niggas that throw money, <laughs> burn it, all kind of shit. Like, nigga, are you dumb? That, that makes no sense. Money's a tool. You ain't you ain't never went to your house and took a tool and threw that shit in the middle of the street or threw it in the trash. Never. Hey, oh mama, for real, bro. Oh mama, bro. I appreciate you, Troy. Keep doing your thing, man. Word up, word up. I appreciate you. Shout to King Capri on the check in. He got a new oh, yeah, single. For sure. for sure, got you. All right, my boy, one hundred. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We we moving along, man. I'm, let's get somebody else on the check in real quick. Y'all tell me today's topic is Can you build with wasteful people? Like I was saying When girls go in the spot Or, or niggas, whoever they, You can tell you don't know no better Let me order a bunch of shots Are you dumb? That's how a real one gonna do it And I'm pretty sure I, I got the bag I'm already rich I don't care I would go in the spot with a water bottle or It was past that We bring the whole bottle in We just went out to the spot the other day You bring the whole bottle in Yo, let me get a cup of ice Waitress I'm already, We already tipping good That's a fact We tipping real good regardless Pour your liquor into a cup of ice and everybody here pour up. If you want shots now, I don't mind buying a $15, $20 drink that you actually made. Like, I need you to blend me some strawberries and some ginger and some, uh, uh put some turmeric in that bitch. Make it healthy. But you're not about to take a bottle, pour said bottle into a little ass cup, put a couple ice cubes in it, and then fucking uh, purge me for, purge me for, for how much percent? 75% of charge? Are you dumb? Makes no sense. I'm not with none of that. I'm not with being wasteful, man. All right, we gonna check in with somebody else real quick. Y'all, let me know. Um, we take we take one more color, two more colors. What we doing? What we doing, niece? Talk to me, niecey. One more. One more. Damn, she's running a tight ship. Damn. Damn. Oh, hold up, ice cream Chuck. Damn. Just, one more. We, we need to get some ladies on the check in after this. That's a fact. Shout out to Scrap Dollar with the badge. Buying a badge. Yo. What's up, G? Can I get a charger, please? What up, man? Ain't shit. What's well, let's, up? Talk about, let's talk about value, man. Let's talk about the who? Tell, value. Tell the people where you are, where you calling from first off. You on the fact, though, show. Florida. Mm -hmm. I'm from Florida, man, but, you know, I'm connected to YouTube birth. I was born over there in Brooklyn Park Slope, but I was raised down here. All right, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, Park Slope is yeah. real good. Park Slope is really, really nice, man. No no funny shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By, by Sunset Park. And yeah, yeah, that's a fact. That's, I know exactly where Sunset Park is. Cause I used to go to, I used to have to be there on the, on the R train when I would go to school. Yeah, that's a fact. I know exactly where it's yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so tell it, tell us, my boy, where, where, uh, can you build with wasteful people? That's the topic today on the Facto Show. Can you build with wasteful people? I'll, I'll be struggling with that shit because it's like, do you want to find somebody like it's easy to um group, build with like minded people, right? That's a fact. But I think it's more it's more challenging to like try to mold a person like you talking about a wasteful person, but bringing them to your level. But that should be a little too challenging sometimes because it's like ultimately <coughs> the strong is meant for the weak. Mm. So yes, the strong gonna build. No, nope. when the strong is together, they gonna build. But at the same time, it's like that's not our, really our fight. Our fight ain't to be strong with the strong. It's for the strong to balance out the weak. That's a fact. It ain't about it ain't about being strong. But yeah, that's a fact though. That's a fact though. You right. So it's like when we talk about wasteful people, that's why I said let's talk about value. Because it's like at the end of the day, their value is 
to show us that standard of what people is to show us like, damn, this ain't how to do that. Right. And like you were saying about the, you know, the shots at the bar and shit. Right, right, yeah. Like, I, I bring, I bring, I bring me a bottle. I got that from my mom's. You better, you better bring a bottle in here and stop playing. You better bring yeah, a bottle, yeah, a water yeah, bottle. On, shit, you feel me though? It, be, it just be too, and and it be the broke, it be the brokest people trying to act too cool for school. Like, oh, what? Right. What, no, like, what do you think? You 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 embarrassed to bring a, a bottle in? Like. Are you embarrassed right, to have a right, water right, bottle right. full of liquor? Like, all it's right, a, it's gonna be the same exact liquid in that. Drink. It's gonna be the same, and your drink gonna be stronger. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Straight yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> so you ever been through a so, situation trying to build with a wasteful person? No, talk about value. Talk about value real quick. Okay, yeah, she's telling me I gotta yeah, go. Yeah, talk about talk value. About Let value. me know. Value is like understanding what you're talking about because that's maximizing your energy. When when you just being wasteful, you kind of diminishing your whole value of existence. Cause it's like uh, every, every dollar that you make, you know, right? It's uh-huh. like that time you put in for it, regardless of how you did it. Right. So if you wasting that dollar, you wasting your time and energy. So yeah, yeah, motherfuckers can flip some shit, make their money back, back quick, but it's still those moments that you ain't gonna get back by being wasteful instead of maximizing the shit, and then. Your your bread gonna be spread out a little more. I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna tell you so, I I know I know exactly uh, what you're talking about because it be times that t- I find it ain't enough hours in a day for me. So it might be a time where I'm I gotta do multiple things. Sometimes I want to relax. I relax by watching TV, Law and Order, Billions, different shows like that. I just relax. But I might have to put yeah. in some tracking numbers for all the God is great paper straight that people didn't order. You know what I'm saying? So what do I do? Right. I sit down and I put in the tracking numbers while I'm watching billions. So I'm maximizing my time. You know what I'm saying? And that's hey, what people that. gotta people hey, gotta feel, uh, find that way. But y'all, I appreciate you on the check in, my boy. Word up. Yes, sir. Stay up, boy. You already. Yo, Troy, go to TroyAz.com, get the new joint, the 2022 season. It's out now. It's out now. It's out now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Ice Cream Chuck. Nisi, this the last, this the last one. Scared Dolly, send me, send me a couple badges and all that. Shout out to Jordan, Jordan, I see you, girl. Uh, shout out to Always Stacking. You feel me? Yo, what's poppin', Brody? What's up, my Shaking, boy? Man. What's the word? Everything handsome, man. I can't complain, man. I do everything on your side, man. Man, I'm too blessed. <laughs> I'm too blessed to be stressed, baby. They can't nah, stop me. Nah, that's a big fact, man. Yeah, God is good, man. Peace that's and blessings. Man. You know the vibes. We yeah. here, man. What's up? Ain't nothing to today. Me, let the people know your name and where you calling from. Yeah, y'all know what up, man. The scrap dollars, man. I'm calling from the Bronx, man. A lot of y'all familiar with it is. Y'all know what's up. You know we here, man. Peace and blessings, man. Everything handsome, man. BX in the building. Up. BX in the building, yeah, you know of the course. Vibes. BX. Ayo, BXBK, I know the vibes. Hey yo, scrap! Shout, shout out to the, the consultant just bought a badge. Hey yo, tell, let the people know real quick. Um, Bro, let the you know pe- that is like you know you do this for the kids, you yeah. do this for the fam. So we gotta you know at let, the end of the day all this for the fam. So you, we help you to help them. So you you got, know the vibes. You gotta let the people know. Can you build with the wasteful per- with the wasteful people? Nah, they um basically make a long story short. It um it it drag you at the end. You feel what I'm explaining to you? Because at the end of the day is when you really got stuff and you work for your stuff, uh-huh. you, you got to um basically, you got to be, especially if you got things to lose. Psst. If you got family and you got kids, I can't blow. I got real bills. I don't live with nobody. You follow mm. what I'm explaining to you? I got my own crib. So the thing about it is that I could go buy Louis and all that if I didn't have, if I live with somebody. Mm. But when you got to pay bills, that's first. And then you got kids as well. My kids got savings and CD accounts. So at the end of the day is that you have to put the kids first. And I can't blow a bag and be around somebody wasteful who's not thinking about their kids because your kids is first. Your kids ain't asked to be here. And the reason why the reason why I hit the topic on kids because, like I said again, when you got little ones, you can't be wasteful. You understand? Because they always right. can eat. So you right. got to be on that type of time. You feel me? So for somebody to go in a club and when you're young, you could go buy bottles. You could buy like Louis and Gucci. But at the end of the day is when you got your own bills, it's a whole different type of time. A whole different so type of time. So anybody who's wasteful, if you're not thinking about your kids, it's quiet. I don't care who you are. Quiet. That's what it is. So anybody who's wasteful, I really can't. Me personally, I really can't tune in and lock in with you. I feel like nobody's shitting. That's a fact. Nobody's shitting. But, you know, but a lot of people probably is <laughs> wrong. A nigga go blow a bag for the gram. You feel me? Because niggas ain't used to shit. That's so when you used to shit, I was sleep. I was fresh back in the days like parasucos and this ain't nothing new. You follow? Right, right, right. So when you really put on dressed. for a long period of time. It's just right. getting dressed. So when you really put on, right. So when you put on for a long period of time, you ain't got time to be wasteful. So 
at the end of the day, is I can't jack that. And and if you got kids, it's not even smart being wasteful. Because if you shit. got ten bands and you go blow, you could put you could put five in an account for them, and then you could play that. But people don't think like that, so I really can't jack anybody who's wasteful. Talk I don't care shit. who you are. Talk that you shit. follow what I'm explaining to you, and like I said again, a lot and a lot of people who who you do see blowing the bag. Niggas ain't got no real bills. Niggas ain't got no real bills. I'm explaining to you. So <laughs> when you got fact. real bills, your life change. And that's just what it is. You understand? I ain't got time to front for the gram because people that really got it, they're they not know, really blowing it like that. They know what it is. That's a fact. Exactly, bro. Hey, and a lot of niggas, and like I said again, I got kids. I got a son and a daughter. And the reason why I'm going on, a, I'm, I'm trying to add on to something because maybe you could teach people at the same time. Yeah, so that's y'all a niggas fact. niggas who front end in front of the gram. I got two kids. I got a son and a daughter. And they got CD accounts and all that. So I don't got time to be fronting for y'all. And y'all live with y'all mothers and y'all aunts. Ooh. Or y'all live with y'all brothers. Grandmothers. Or y'all live with y'all uncles. I you think grandmothers is number one that niggas live with. Right. That's a big fact. Know what I mean? So when you got, when you got people that you, that, that you live with, it's easier. You ain't got to put 300 for the rent. You ain't got to put a buck 50 for the rent. You follow what I'm explaining to you? I, so when I got to gotta drop bands for where I live at, it's different. So y'all can waste what y'all waste. But later on down the line, don't get it. And this is a lot of y'all dudes who on here. Don't get yes, it when you're 40 and 50. Get it now. Get it now. Y'all follow? Don't get it when you're 40 and 50, man. But a million salutes to you, man. BSB, man. Keep being great. You already. I love you, man. You know what I mean? I love, love you, man. Keep way. being great. And I, keep, and like I said again, I know I'll go up the topic, but I try to kick game on the, at the same time for the people who don't know. And being a father is, 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 is a thinkless job. And like I tell a lot of y'all fellas, man, kids is first, man. And if you don't do right by your kids, God don't take care of you. I don't care who you are. Talk it's always shit. the baby first. Talk that shit. You know what I mean? And don't Word, get no, don't and, get and no wasteful baby mothers. Nah, that's a big fact. And I hope that a lot of y'all could, you know what I mean? Understand it. Just tune in. It ain't about being tough. It's about taking care of your feel. Real men, it's got people that take care of their kids. If you don't take care of your kids, you're not going to be pulling up in no fault. It's not going to work out for you. Yeah, Whatever bro. you plant in, then that's going to be out. But like I said again, a million salutes. And you can't be wasteful when you got kids, man. A lot of y'all got kids. Talk so that. like I said again, Talk that keep talk. being great, man. You know, I love you, man. I'm proud of you. And a million salutes, Brody. Now, I mean, I'm always talk. here, man. And like I said again, I tell everybody, and like I say, you always got to salute, man, especially mm-hmm. when dudes doing what they got to do for their kids, man. Uh-huh. And I ain't grow with my pop, so that's why I salute you. That's why and you got to be a better one. Dads, man. Hey, Facts, yo, man, yo, keep being great, bro. Yo, appreciate you, Scrap, on the check-in always, with the man. mother. Love is love, bro. You know, love, and I've seen a couple of bad experiences, so you know. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it, baby. No, I, I told. You, bro. I told you. I'm going. I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to get four chicken wings with French fries. I'm going to keep it hood today, <laughs> and the motherfucking a ginger ale. Make sure, make I, sure, make sure you get a little homies. Make sure the little man, little man get at least. Make sure you break some bread with them too. Right. Man. I, I, mean, the, I mean, you All know right? that. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. He go ill story. This, 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 I had to speak to my son's sister. <laughs> I mean, teacher today. This little motherfucker. Gonna go into school with Pokemon cards at ninety dollars. So now he get caught. Where he get caught with the ninety dollars in his joint, and he start yelling at the teacher. And no, I'm and he's six years old. She says, "Put it on my desk." No, I just put it in my pocket. No, I, he's like, "No, it'll get lost here. Why you have all of this?" No, it's his mom. So he's really going crazy because he know I said, "Don't bring all that money out the house. You could bring ten dollars, five dollars, whatever." He's pissed off about it now. Cool. So now his spot get blown up, and then he trying. Right. To get exposed by the teacher or whatever. Fact, I had to fact, call, fact. speak to him on the phone. You. you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Little kid uh, shit. But you gotta, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it before you go, bro. But at the end of the day, you can't fault them for following you. They yeah, following you. Fact. So if you coming out, if you coming out looking like the bag and being a bag, it's only right. That's a fact. You follow? I ain't mad. So you gotta keep it 100. So they just learn it from you. So that's good that they getting it now. The smaller you get it, especially mm-hmm. you showing them the right way. That's amazing. I'd rather them leave out with money than not have no money well, like a bum ass right, nigga. I ain't, yo, I'm for, I ain't got it. What? I ain't got the money. You, nah, ass, you knew you was calling us out you on the money? <laughs> but yo, let me let me mm-hmm. tap out. But nah, I appreciate I you. Bro. You already Love, know, bro. man. Salute, man. Peace and blessings. No doubt. Hey, yo, shout out to right, Scott Dollars on the check in. This was the facto show. Y'all go check in right now. Go uh Troyav.com or go to my YouTube. We got the last episode of Facto Show. Right now we're gonna do Ask Troyav. Get all your questions. I appreciate the badges. We can leave the people here while we do the Ask Troy. Oh, matter of fact, I need this. Chop in. Hey yo, 100 y'all go spread love and destroy hate. You hear me? Dope boy Troy, I'm up out of here. God is great, play the straight. God is smile. It don't matter if they hate. God is smile. Smile. You do that shit, hey, day. We're back. 
And we're back, this is Troy Ave Show, the uh, de facto show Round of applause Turn that shit up, there we go Thank you Listen man, you got two hands And God gave them to you to pat yourself on the back That's a fact though So, Gina We got, uh, we got Gina here, West Coast G um, What's you know, the deal? You know, she's a uh, green hat, Yankee Wearing you feel me? <laughs> Slim, pretty thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, <laughs> AOG, just tell them who you are, where you coming from, all that good stuff. She's gonna, she's a, she's our, a, a, a special guest that's gonna do the actual I have questions this week. What's the daily for girl Gina views from LA? You guys are tuned in to actually have you ready to get started? Yep, this is the fact of show And she is from L.A. L.A. where they robbing niggas That's out on dates with their girl Taking all your shit off So you be careful, <laughs> man It's like the 90s again, you feel me? So all you suckers with the, try, Yeah, don't be trying to go to niggas city And show off You better move respectfully <laughs> and humbly Because it, it happens, you know what I mean? Luckily for me, I left my jewelry in the airport And it was returned to me But that's because I got good energy And I ain't on no sucker nice shit we Yeah, real, real respect real But when you see these suckers out here flexing it, niggas. You got all this joke. Why you ain't got no strap? You ain't, you ain't give me that. That's a fact. And that it should happen a lot of times. Like, man, you ain't like that. Why you out here with it like that? It is what it is. Take your L and keep it pushing. But yeah, Gigi, let's get into the. Uh, you want to fact those show with the actual have questions? Um, I'm ready to get into it, man. I'm ready to get right into it. Let's do it. So the first question is from Sherry. She's from Norfolk. No yes, folk, Virginia, VA, no folk. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Sherry. My Sherry, Sherry a more pretty <laughs> like a summer day. I love like soul music. My Sherry, a more pretty little girl I adore. You're the only one I'm looking for in a summer day. <laughs> I ain't need no <laughs> auto tune. If you wanted to show your vocals off, just say that. <laughs> just say that, right? I got another <laughs> one. Um, um, very superficial, write things on the wall. You can help me out, Nisa. You don't know that song? Superstitious. Superstitious. Okay. What are you, a fucking English teacher? He oh, correcting. I know I was on a game show about who knows the words to music. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, if I want to say very superficial, she's gonna say it's superstitious. Actually, actually, I was making a remix. Actually, actually, I make music for a living. So how you know I wasn't doing a fucking Troy Ave remix? Very superficial. What you was doing was butchering the lyrics. Uh, but whoa, whoa! I was actually talking about you with your big ass eyelashes. How about that? Niece got a head full of hair down her back. Y'all are superficial. How about that? <laughs> fucking all saints to the floor shopping ass niggas very superficial i was making it's a diss track towards y'all how about that motherfuckers god damn it i ain't scared of you niggas let me tell my bernie max i ain't scared of you motherfuckers all right all right let's get back to this girl's question from no fuck damn it <laughs> so terry oh, somebody get peter on the phone she got that dog tied up to a radiator Walking like that, <laughs> talking about <laughs> fake ass Very English sad. teachers. Can I get another shot? I'm irritated. Damn it, y'all fucking with me today. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Gary said, "My boss says I'm up for a promotion, but my supervisor is jealous of me making everything I do extra hard, along with the negative attitude. I'm ready mm. to tell her to fuck off, but I don't want to lose my job. What should I do?" Oh, I'm gonna FaceTime you because I need to see you when you ask me these. You won't be on camera though. <laughs> All right, hold oh on. Hold on. She said, "Can can we still hear you? Let me hear you." Can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Right. So you said the girl Sherry says she's ready to quit her job because her supervisor is being a hater. Yes, her supervisor is making it very very hard for her to do her job. So she want to tell her girl, "Fuck you." <sighs> she wants that promotion And she wants her job I mean There's so many questions This is how I feel about jobs I'm going to give it a buck Um, You can either get a job Or you can make a job You know what I'm saying There's two type of ways it's, it's two ways You can get a job Or you can make a job You create your own job Now sometimes the job you create It might not make as much As the job that you get You know what I'm saying So I feel like 
it depends on your situation. Do you need a job? You don't never want to put the pride and the ego in front of your uh your well being. You feel me? If you lose that job, are you gonna be sleeping in a cardboard box on Skid Row? Are you gonna have to suck dick for money? Are you gonna have to uh like it's so many things that could happen. Are you gonna have to get on welfare and live on a fixed income? Like it's so many things that could happen. You gonna have to get with a nigga that you don't really like and just, you know, be around him so you can pay your bills. Like it's so many things. So I feel like Keep that job, right? This is what I don't understand. I don't like when girls or, or guys, whatever. I feel like you should, if you don't, jobs are like uh, relationships. If you don't like your relationship, you should keep that relationship until you find another. You know what I'm saying? That's just sound advice from me. And I think that, um, hmm, if, does she work at a reputable job with an HR department or something? Like, can she... She didn't say, but I'm sure it's somebody that she can go to. All jobs have an open door policy. Yeah, I think I think you need to say, hey, this person is making my experience here at the workplace difficult. That you could lie. Like, hey, she said I want to touch your pussy or something. Like you could make something up. It doesn't matter. They'll they at at the very least they'll just get you away from that person so you don't got to deal with them no more. Sexual harassment is a thing. You feel me? Not we saying don't want, we don't want Sherry out here lying though. I mean, listen, Sherry, listen, man. We give it a buck. Yeah, uh, this is like Squid Games out here. It seems like you have a Squid Games at your at your job with a Game of Thrones, and you got to do what you got to do for yourself because it's your livelihood. And this person is just being a dickhead. It's not like you just lying on them for no. They're probably lying on you. Um, so you got to even the playing field. That's all I'm saying. No lie, just even the playing field. Um, I say she should kind of chill and just continue with that job and get through it. I don't like to take things that work personal. It's just work. Uh, you can't. I know, and this started when, when I was a kid. It was like one of the first producers. Start, uh, rest in peace to Rod, Rodney Dogchild. Um, Rod was a security guard, right? He was a producer too and a security guard. He used to run this club called uh, blah, 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 Temptations on Church Avenue, a notorious club in Flatbush. And Rodney actually went to... He went. He he was working as security somewhere like Rite Aid or something, right? And like I, that's why I say never take your job too serious or never take things personal. So Rodney went and one night he's working the late shift at Rite Aid and it's a crackhead stealing some shit, right? Crackhead stealing. So he like, yo, come on, you gotta go. The crackhead like, what you mean I got me? Fuck you, man. Some crackhead. He said some crackhead. Fuck you, man. Bitch, I think I ain't go. You know how crackheads talk and. He said, what you said to me? And then he went to grab him, and the crackhead slit his throat, and he died. Facts. This is a fact, though. The crackhead slit his throat, and he died for, for probably eleven ninety nine an hour. This is nuts. So, hindsight is twenty twenty, but I mean, like, I try not to take things with work-related serious anymore. Just be like, man, get the fuck, you ain't, come on, get up out of here. I'm not going to physically go above and beyond for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, if she got a hater at work, just look at it like, you know what? I'm getting paid X amount of dollars to deal with a hater. So fucking what? Just like Troy have. I got to deal with mad shit, mad bullshit, but I'll get handsomely paid for it. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? So, don't take work things serious. And that's the Sherry and VA. Next question, please. So the next question is from Tiffany from the Bay. Hey, Troy. I let my best friend stay with me until she got on her feet. Why well, she, she said it like that? I sense like a flirting tone. Like she wanted to give me some pussy. Hey, Troy. That's how she said it. Or maybe that's how I read it. That's how you read it. So who wants hey, to give Troy. me some pussy? You or her? I don't understand. What's going on? <laughs> so, somebody wanted, so, is somebody in there? I'm feeling like I'm getting came on to it. It's, flirt, it's a flirtatious tone. Yeah, very superficial with them eyelashes on. You out here flirting with me, and I actually have questions, and I don't know what's going on. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, so the next question is from Tiffany from the Bay. Hey, Troy. I let my best friend stay with me until she got on her feet. Then she had her boyfriend come over, and now it's like he's fake trying to move in. And he don't pay for anything. Should I say something? Ooh, I need a bomb for that or something. That was good. I got buttons here. I press, try to make it seem like you can hear that. Yeah. Let me do it again. <laughs> That's an epic fail. This, believe it or not, this is not the first time that I've heard of this. This is crazy. Look what I got. 
<laughs> yes, I mastered this shit too. Look what I got. Hold on. Let's see how true it is. Let's see how true it is. Okay. Third time's a charm. Got it. That's how true it is. Third Let time. Yeah, on the third time, I got it. So, But get it on the stick. On the sixth time? <laughs> get it on the stick. Where your stick at? Pause. I'm not getting nothing on the stick. I'm a man. Oh, my goodness. Pause. What are you talking about? Get it on the stick. You get it on the, the stick. The fucking Kadama. <laughs> what type of shit is that? Get it on the stick. How you tell... Do you ever tell a nigga, get it on the stick? It's goddamn shit type of L.A. shit going on here. Anyway. The stick that's on the Kadama. What is called the Kadama? Let me see it. You supposed to put it up there, not on the bottom. You put it on the bottom. No, I, well, I, huh? You did it. Oh, wrong. you supposed to put it on here? No. Well, hold on, we going, we going off topic. Let me answer this question. Ask the question. Let me answer this question. All right. Round of applause, just because I got these buttons. I don't that. That's some deep shit, man. And this happens often. You got the uh somebody slick move in on you. So if you and your homegirl split in the house, the, the rent is fifteen hundred dollars. Y'all y'all paying seven fifty, seven fifty. Is that too low for rent? That's about an average price, right? No. Two thousand? Yeah. All right, for two thousand Well, it's two girls. So what? Twenty five hundred? Two let's just Maybe say two like three. let's say two thousand because all of our viewers aren't mathematicians like me and you. Three thousand? We gonna go there? Now let's say two thousand dollars. You paying for rent? You and your homegirl split it a thousand, a thousand. Boom. Now all of a sudden, all the bills in the house, everything is two thousand dollars. Everything bills, everything done. Now all of a sudden, she got a boyfriend coming in. It's cool if he come one night, bust her ass, leave. He might come a weekend, stay, cook for y'all, order some food, whatever. But once this nigga slick move in and start leaving things there, you walk in your house is nigga Timberlands on the floor. You know what I'm saying? You might come in, come in drunk, and all of a sudden, it's, it's dishes in the sink, or you might need, you, you might go in your fridge and you want to get your uh, uh, electrolytes to a, a fucking vitamin water, and the nigga didn't drunk the last. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, you feel me? You might come walk in your bathroom, it's a man's toothbrush. Like, whoa, whoa, hold up, ice cream truck. Now it's a problem because now when you open the bills, your your light bill is no longer uh two hundred dollars a month. Now it's two eighty. You feel me? The 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 gas is is going up now. Is more heat being used because while y'all at work in the daytime, this bum ass nigga. It's always a bum ass nigga because no real man moves in with a chick. You bum ass nigga. You don't work obviously because that's a trait of what's what's another trait of bum ass niggas besides not working. Using your car while you at work. <sighs> Nisi said complaining, and Gina said using your car while you at work, and they disguise it by babe. I'll take you to work and drop you off. Oh, honestly, other bitches. Oh, Jody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bum ass nigga. Go take your car. Oh, he might be so damn low. He's fuck bitches in your house. Oh, this is Airbnb, girl. <laughs> in my car, Jody. So the nigga in there using all the amenities of the crib. Up in the daytime bills where it would usually be no air conditioning on. He's got the air condition running. You know, it usually be no TV. He watching ESPN, talking shit, playing video games, whatever. And now the bill's going higher. So now your friend then, if she's a real friend or if she mm, is realistic friend, she should say, you know what, girl? I know these bills are going up because this bum ass nigga had I call a boyfriend his hair. Let me give you, let me pay his portion. This is the equivalent. And this always gets me upset. You ever be out with somebody? You ever be out with somebody and like this is how I roll. If it's four of us and the bill is a thousand dollars, we split it two fifty, two fifty, two fifty, cool. But now nigga, you know, if everybody's sitting at the table chilling and you ordering uh yo, yo yeah, let me get a uh Don Julio double shot, um, let me get the lobster sauce and let me get the uh uh the, the fried fucking uh, a tomahawk steak and, and hold on Yo Hey yo shorty You wanna drink over there You buying bitches Drink all over the place All kind of shit You got to pay extra My brother Because while them bills Wasn't 250 250 a man You are accountable For about $500 worth of shit So me mm -hmm. as a real man I know if If I bring somebody else With me or I get some other shit out the way. I'm going to pay extra because I know I OD. Everybody ordering chicken. I'm ordering surf and turf. And I'm eating an appetizer. My niggas ain't getting no appetizer. Whatever. 
If you know you had eight drinks at the table and everybody else had two, you're supposed to pay extra. Don't just be like, yo, what's the bill? Okay, all right, was was that split four ways? No, nigga, it's not because you're not you're not a quarter. You're accountable for a third or a half of the bill. So the same thing applies to when these people have boyfriends. They come in and be bums and they run up your bills and they pay. They they don't pay. So I think absolutely you should say something. You should say, listen, this nigga didn't came in here and parked up a tent. So I'm gonna need you to add some more money to the rent. It's that simple. It's that simple. So definitely say something. Don't be a sucker because that's an epic fail. <laughs> okay, next. That was a good catchphrase, right? You parked up a tent. Now you got to pay money for the rent. All right. The next question is from Fly Drip Sean from that, Harlem. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a name. On, that nigga got a name on him. Fly Drip Sean from Harlem. <laughs> Ladies, stay away from a nigga named Fly Drip Sean from Harlem. It's, Harlem <laughs> is a red flag. The Fly Drip Sean, he got all kind of red flags. Stay away from that nigga, man. That's a fact. He, he sounds like, like a you? baby father. He definitely sounds like a baby father. If he mad fly, the kids ain't got no haircut. He <laughs> might be a side nigga. Yeah, you feel me? He sounds like a nigga that come around on Father's Day to take pictures. You mad fly. Yo, come on, yo. Get everybody in the Burberry. It's number one. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. What's, so, fly, fly, drip sign wants to know: mm-hmm. Would you smash a chick after your man smashed? My boy got mad at me because I smashed a chick he liked and that he used to smash. Mm. Fly, drip, Sean. Would you smash a chick after your man smashed? He want to know if you <coughs> running, if you running up in the box after your man already ran up in there. I mean, or is it any, is I, don't, it any boundary? I don't think if it was your man's girlfriend, then I say no. You don't really hit your man's girlfriend unless it's like certain situations like she was his girlfriend, but he wasn't her boyfriend. Like, you know, what I'm saying if he was a sucker to the situation, she was on some whole shit. Then, yeah, you could smash her to prove a point. Like, nigga, you a sucker. Come on. I told you this was this was what it was. So like a lot of times when niggas be in jail and. They got a so-called girl and a girl can't help get them out of jail. Like, damn, she's not doing nothing for you. That ain't your girl, then, dog. It's just a girl you know. Facts. So then it's open house. But just to randomly, I I don't never be on that thirsty type of shit. I don't understand it. I wouldn't just randomly come about being like, yo, I'm gonna just smash a, a chick to my man. It's unnecessary. There's too many girls out here. So I say, yeah, if it's random, if if it's his girl, absolutely not. If it's not his girl, then I don't see why not. And so that's how I feel. That was it. So you can you can double dip behind your boy. Is it called double dipping? I think y'all call it double dipping to try to make it give it a a, a bad feel. But like niggas don't care about that. It's not double dip. <laughs> so so should he make up with his boy? His boy his boy is a bitch ass nigga if he feels away. Real shit because I mean I I smashed one of my men's chicks and I told I asked him I said yo she owe me dog like what's up you gonna care if I if I bust her and then you know he had to keep it play like I don't care you know I don't, I don't love these hoes I don't care but then meanwhile he like damn you did oh yeah you probably nigga hey, right oh right, some bullshit. He text some bullshit right he knew he had to keep it playing with me but with her he like start feeling away now all of a sudden you calling her a hoe come on nigga don't do that. That's Coney. I don't think it's double dipping. You think it's double dipping? Yeah. I feel like women shouldn't do that. Women shouldn't fuck two friends. You don't want niggas comparing your pussy over some coffee. Or over... What, what do niggas drink? Not coffee. Hennessy. Hennessy. You don't want niggas... Lean. <laughs> no! Niggas ain't sharing a cup of lean. <laughs> over, over, yo! Yo, you don't want niggas sharing, comparing your pussy over a cup of lean. Yo, she do that little thing when she turn her side and she look at you. She suck dick with one eye open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, have you have you ever double dipped? Like share the body with my homegirl? Yeah. Hell no, we don't play that. Mm. Mm. That didn't sound too convincing, but I take your word for it. You know what I'm saying? 
behind those eyelashes it seemed to be some lying ass eyes but you know give me it and my friends don't we don't share bodies we're not attracted to the same guy oh i need a bomb but i'll go with a me and my friends don't share bodies. We not attracted to the same guys. That was hard. That was a hard line. All right. Thank you, Gina. Tell the people where they can catch you at. Thank you for this segment of Act Show. I have on the Fact Those Show. Can you talk, just tell the people where they can catch you at and all that before I get up out of here? Y'all can just come catch me on Instagram or Twitter at Gina Views and see me doing all things great. Don't you got a, um, don't you got a podcast that I'm supposed to get on? So, yeah, when you coming back? What is the podcast called? Whole session. What say it again, please? Whole session. I knew the name. I just went to hear her say it. It's called Whole Fashions, like confessions, but Whole Fashions. That's crazy. Um, I'm gonna come in there and I'm talk. Are you talking about all things host? It's just your your craziest, wildest sexual experiences. Can I ask you what's one of your craziest sexual experience? Give me like number number five on top five. Mm-mm. I'll never share. <laughs> All right, give me somebody else's crazy sexual experience. How are you going to have a podcast? Uh, see, this is the fact of the show. We have opinions based on facts. I'm asking you about a fact. It's just a fact. This actually happened. Like, how you... whole is not about me. Oh, okay. So you just like to hear other people's business. People submit their stories anonymously. Mm, okay. To the whole thing. I hear that. All right, yo, thank you. That was Gina. Who got a, a podcast called Whole Fashions and she don't talk about no whole shit personally. And she has a dog tied up to a radiator that she probably stole. She on some Cali shit. You know Cali, they are stealing shit. They're not only stealing watches and bus downs, they're stealing dogs, apparently. So, hide your kids, hide your wife and your dogs. Shit is real. Be safe for Super Bowl weekend. All right, Gina, thank you. Bye. Okay. Apparently, I need to pay my phone bill. Because am I the only one that waits till the shit cut off before I pay it? No. I do that too, yeah. When it's come to the month, I just, all right, whatever, huh? Cut my shit off, then I pay our money. I need to pay mad bills, but whatever. Right now, we're going to pay some bills. We're going to get up out of here. This Troy have the fact of show. Remember, never accept criticism from people that you would not take advice from. I'm your host, Troy Ave. This is the fact of show. Powder, love. Go get all the music, get everything. I'ma take this call. One honey. God is great, play the straight. God is smile. It don't matter if they hate. God is smile. You the one, no debate. God is smile. Keep it real, fuck whoever, keep it fake. God is smile. In the mirror, you in love. God is smile. This your song, one ahead in the club. God is smile. Everything is on fleet. God is smile. Twerking, you a little freak. God is smile. Doing good by yourself. God is smile. On your crown, trying to get the good wealth. God and smile. You do that shit a day. God and smile. Real quick, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. But not only that, click the bell. The bell gonna give you the notifications to keep you in tune with everything we got going. Shit, dope boy, chill ass.